A co-op, and there are many kinds of co-ops, is a um, is an enterprise that is owned by its members, by the users, the people who are going to be using it. The structure provides for um, an equal division of ownership so that no one person or no one group of people can control where that, what that, what that uh, enterprise is doing. We're a small town, we're 2,600 people. Over 1,000 people belong to the co-op. I think that's pretty remarkable. Uh, my name is Richard, I live in Putney and I've been shopping here for three and a half years. I love, I love the fresh vegetables and the fruit, uh, a lot of organic food, and um, I like the, uh, the discount for seniors on Tuesdays. Um, my name is Lisa Del Mar, um, I live up in Bellas Falls and I've been in the area for 21 years. Um, I shop at the Putney Co-op occasionally and um, I, I love co-ops, I <laughs> just love co-ops, so I come whenever I can. Putney Food Co-op started in 1941. There was a woman in town named Carol Brown who actually started the co-op. She was the founding member, or one of the founding members. And she was into natural foods. She couldn't buy them um, in the grocery stores. And she was having mail order deliveries of large quantities of things like whole grain flours and blackstrap molasses. And um, some folks said, we, well, we need a store, and we need a store that is democratically controlled and community owned. Then they were really big into it. So they started it. First, there was some member labor, but another of the, of the important things to the folks who started it was provide jobs. So they also had paid labor always. And um, it moseyed along, you know, for a, a long, long time. In 1992, the membership decided that the store that it was held in was really just too small, too rickety, couldn't be improved, uh, didn't have enough parking, various things, and built the building that we're in now. I'm Alexandra Buron and I'm the deli manager at the Putney Co-op. Um, I manage the deli department, I um, order food, I deal with local vendors, um, farms, I also um, buy for the meat department we, and the cheese department. So it's a lot of buying and talking and cooking and staffing. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoy my job. Um, Putney Co-op's a great place to work. Um, it's a good environment, good people to work with, um, and a good place to learn about um, the local farmers and what they have to give and Good job. I like it. During the summer season, almost 50 plus percent of the produce that's up there is local. And what isn't local are things like lemons and, you know, um, bananas and avocados that don't grow here. But what we can get here, we get here. Local, I, will, I won't describe as um, super close because we also go regional so we kind of go into a hundred miles is what we consider local um, or within the state. We have a newsletter that comes out every couple months and next month we're going to do a piece on local beer and wines, which will be a fun one to do. Um, but everywhere in the store that you turn, you'll see local product. Kim's our produce manager, and she's been working at the co-op for 13, 14, how long? Um, 14. 14 summer. years. Yeah. She's got a really great relationship with a lot of our growers. With all of our growers, but she's the one who is our connection. My job is the produce manager and I bring in um, produce from as local a source as I can find. I believe in starting um, from the co-op and circling out so that we access the local farms first and um, as the season gets shorter and shorter we work out outward from there. So summer we're very lucky we have a ton of, of um, farms in this area. We're very rich agriculturally. 
and all of those farms are willing to share their products with us. So in the summer we have absolutely everything that is grown in the area for sale here. Um, then as it gets to be colder we have to search a little further. So I try to stay on the East Coast. I go to um, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, down to Florida. I try to stay on the East Coast and then come back again um, in the spring to our local farmers. And we um, work hard, we get deliveries every morning, we work hard to um, keep everything fresh and beautiful and high quality for the customers and the community. And the community supports us um, in its desire to have local, beautiful, organic vegetables and fruit. Sometimes cost is simply a factor that can't, you know, you can't factor out. When something is just too expensive, it's not going to sell. So we've made attempts to bring in some local items that are just too high priced and just simply won't go. And we've even cut what we make on it to make it more accessible. And so we're always playing that game with the local too. It's like how, how much can we give to make it work, um, but it still has to work. We do make a lot of effort, so. This is Ed, Ed Powers is our grocery manager. He's also our IT guy, our beer and wine guy, and glue. And what? <laughs> You're the glue. Oh, the glue. <laughs> I, I said know. blue. I'm not blue. And what other kinds of products? I mean, you know, we know about pro we know about produce, we know about maple syrup, but other things I mean, that are local. Really, you know, it doesn't seem like there is a limit. Yeah, I mean, dairy, of course, in Vermont is goes hand in hand, pretty much. You know, um, and I, you know, the Thomas Dairy, even you know, that's, that's out of Rutland. Of, of all the small areas that we have, I'd say dairy really has the most local uh, that we carry. I, you know, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to actually think of reverse. I'm thinking of what don't we have that you know right. it doesn't What's someone doesn't offer lo locally in some way. It's really actually pretty amazing. Um, behind you on the wall, there's a cloud poster that says, "Last year we purchased six hundred ninety-three thousand dollars from local producers." The dollar that is spent here is more likely to stay in the community than a dollar spent in a conventional grocery store. Just you know, that's the way it works out. So it recycles into the community time and time again. So when I pay my local producer, they're going to shop locally. And so that dollar just recycles in the community a lot more. Um, we've really made a big impact, I think. I, I work at a place that I can feel good about working at, really. It's such a, a good size, and it always feels like we're building and growing in different dimensions. You know, whether it's new registers up front this year, we did an expansion of the cafe, and we're always kind of thinking, you know, it, it's, it's small enough that we can really all have a, a part in uh, deciding what what the future of the co-op is here. A lot of co-ops do that, I think, as a, as a rule. They, they really include the staff and, uh, you know, we want everyone to understand how we're doing or, you know, where the challenges are in the market. Um, it's great to have a, a community to help nourish. Um, I see the same faces every day, which is great. I see new faces too, but the same faces, um, come in on a pretty regular basis and that's great because you get to watch the kids grow up, you get to form friendships and you look forward to seeing people and you catch up on what's going on in everybody's lives and people appreciate, I think people appreciate um, shopping here because um, of the community, the community environment. Uh, you get to know people and you know what they want and you know what they need and between customers and vendors, um, it actually makes the job a bit easier instead of having to start fresh every single time you see somebody. I think we're doing a better job of being relevant to the community and um, Putney Co-op enjoys a pretty good reputation of being really dedicated to supporting local farmers, to really reaching out to the whole community and not just a narrow segment of the community, and to try to be accessible. There we go, in a nutshell. <laughs>